Hi everyone, welcome back to Enforcer and the Deed. A little bit different. Um, remember we mentioned earlier, do that uh, we're going to do a few little segments on uh, on uh, my recovery, recovery, <laughs> recovery, <laughs> going back to Bathurst. Or um, I, I think we've come up with a tag for it: the rusty road back to Bathurst. We well, did, and you had a lot of feedback on that. Didn't <laughs> a lot you? of people feedback. who had named that that segment. So Rusty's Road to Bathurst. Yeah. I think yeah. we've, got to, we've got to start blowing some rust off. <laughs> oh, no, I oh, know. And thanks to everyone for sending that. We, we sort of plucked a bit of everything. We had some really good feedback on what to call this little segment. So, um, yeah, so we want to bring um, my, my progression in getting back up to speed yeah. for the big one. So long and short of it is I get a call yep. from the dude going, Russ, I've got this program running today um, with some young kids I'm, I'm teaching a few things and you should come out and be involved in on it because we think starting from the ground up's a go yeah i look i see a lot of parallels to what you've got to do and what these kids are doing so these mm. these kids have been through our driver coaching they operate at a very high level they know how to drive the car and how do we get them to that next stage so for you you know how to drive the car it's second nature but you've got to really put your brain about turn your brain on about going to Bathurst and what that project's going to look like. So a lot of parallels mm -hmm. there, I think. So the process. The, so the process, the process and, 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 and how you go about making yourself faster and more in tune with the car. So, look, you already know how to do that. These kids don't, but it won't hurt you to do a review on that because you might just pick up something. And okay. I think the knock-on effect is you'll hand a bit of knowledge over too. You just can't stop you know, learning mm -hmm. and there's stuff that you've still got on your brain we probably haven't thought about yet and probably parked it to one ho side. <laughs> hopefully you're at the age where you might give a bit of that up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is, so basically I'm going to be bunching, uh, hanging around a bunch of school kids. Yeah, they're fast. And going out, <laughs> but fast school kids. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, but that's cool. I, I always said right from the word go that it, it's going to be, you know, I'm starting from, from the bottom yeah. and working my way up yeah. and... Uh, Oh. Well, you did. You come out here with Robbo and got yourself yep. up to speed. So, yep. so the parallels there, the, the, these drivers have, you know, high level coached. They, they've learnt to get to that level. Now they've mm. got to learn to learn. Right, okay. So that's what we're doing. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Apparently you've got a few handy peddlers out here as teachers too. So. I've got some good coaches here today, mate. Okay, all right. Some good coaches. All right, well, let's, get, let's go out on the skip pan. That's where everyone's set up and yep. uh, see what I'm in for. So, dude, we're out on track. Yeah. Uh, boys are out. Um, so, give us a give us a debrief on what this this program session program is all about. Yeah. Yeah. This is about the drivers that have been our junior drivers that have been through our driver coaching program, and they're they're operating at a pretty high level at, at grassroots motorsports, so XL racing, most of them, but a few eighty six kids as well. Um, they know how to drive. They've probably got there by repetition, not by really understanding what the car's doing. So this is about taking them to the next level, really making them think about what the car's doing and how they influence it. So this, this morning we've just been learning about tyres and tyre pressures and how to read okay. a tyre, which we all know that's the most important part of the car, but no one teaches you how to do it. And <laughs> old blokes like us don't really pass that information on because we still need to use it. So um, that's what we're doing and breaking it right down into that basic reading the tyre and We've done that up until well, it's just past lunchtime now, and you've yeah. arrived, which I reckon you're nearly probably ready to slide into what we're going to do this afternoon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you got three cars here. Yeah. And I guess you've got a few name brand drivers kicking around here. You've got Shane Van Gisbergen, Anton Di Pasquale, Brock Feeney, Brady Kostecki. Um, I like it because all those guys really get into it, don't they? Because you got you got a wealth of knowledge there, so they're passing all that down as well to these young kids. Um, but you're right, I, I don't think I've ever seen a program that actually teaches you about the fundamentals of how to go racing or how to get the most out of a car. Yeah. And you're right, tyres are so important. It's, it's the first step and yeah, you take someone, like we've got three pro coaches here today and Shane, Anton yeah. and, and Brody, and they're, they're all awesome drivers, but they all go about it a little bit differently, which mm -hmm. is good. So Brody's very technical, understands a lot about the car. Um, Anton's doesn't understand the mechanics of the car, but he knows what he wants from it, mm -hmm. so he can still pass that information onto the engineer. 
and then Shane just non-stop working at his craft, he's always learning. <laughs> so having those guys supply their time to these young guys and, and help those guys raise their level, it's sort of unheard of really in the, in the sport. It's <laughs> amazing, it must, it must blow their minds because there's these kids, you know, just starting out motor racing. Probably these drivers that are here are their idols, you yeah. know, they're looking at them going, that's, what I, that's who I want to become. Yeah. They're here teaching them. They're here teaching <laughs> That's them. That's pretty cool. Like you don't get that anywhere else, and uh, and they're dedicated to it. You know, they actually take a big interest in it. So, so we'll go through um, what they're trying to. Each yeah. one of them's doing. Yep. Um, what the changes are. What they're trying to feel. All the rest of it, and uh, just to generally go around and have a bit of a look. Be good, mate. Yeah, it's a great one to be involved in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> so, Brady. Russell. <laughs> you got it, dude? <laughs> You're good? good. Hey, it's good to see you out here. Uh, Paul was just explaining to me about the whole program. Pretty cool because, I mean, for these guys, you just <laughs> how do you get that experience through people like yourself, passing it down the line? Unheard of. Yeah, it is. Um, it's very unheard of, especially these days. Um, you know, there's a lot of tools that we have now, but we've sort of taken for granted. Mm -hmm. And um, I was fortunate to learn at a young age. You know, I learned most of the stuff already, but being able to pass all this knowledge on and have Shane and Anton here as well is, you know, mm -hmm. pretty cool for these young guys. So what were you just explaining then? Uh, tell me about your program. Like, what was the changes you just went through there? Oh, uh, yeah, we're just doing some tyre pressure scans through the car. So we've um, actually cycled a few of the wheels around the car, um, yep. just trying to make the best of what we have. So the tyres are really old, really worn out, mm. um, but some are better than others. So we've put a scatter of tyres on all the cars and we're um, just getting these boys here to understand, um, you know, that this circuit here at Norwell was predominantly right-handers. So, um, you know, the left side tyres get a bit of a beating. So we're just mm -hmm. trying to make the best of what we got. And it just gets your mind thinking that <laughs> bit more about what's actually going on inside the car. Such an important factor, the whole tyre thing, because everyone worries about shocks and springs, but the thing between the car and the road, those black round things, it's, so it's pretty important. That, that's what gives you the feedback. So yeah. um, it's very important and tyre pressures are very, you know, simple in the scheme of things, but it's also one of the most crucial parts of motorsport, mm -hmm. you know, how we, you know, the high level that you go, the the harder it gets to qualify and that's you know one of the mm -hmm. determining factors. So you're getting the driver involved in on the pressures as well, how to do them, checking it, how much they go up, how much they go down. Yeah, just doing a full, a full scan and getting them to yep. understand, you know, the, to make the tyre and the car fast for two laps, the car requires different tyre pressures than what you would need for a race. So yep. um, getting these boys to understand what the feeling is between, you know, being over pressured and under pressured so they can... Oh, so you're raising them and lowering them as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Show actually, the difference. Yeah, yeah. So we're just giving them a split and um, now now we're adjusting specific tyres to try fix uh, the car balance around some certain oh, corners. Okay. So All right. we're about to head out now and see how they go, but they're working really well together. Yeah, uh, yeah. Talking, making notes. That's pretty cool to see. That's awesome, dude. All right. We'll catch you over there a bit later. Sounds good. Thanks, Shane. How you going, dude? Yeah, can't, right. keep, can't keep you away from a racetrack, can we? Yeah, always <laughs> trying stuff, which is cool. Yeah. Trying to teach some young guys today. Yeah. What do you need to go faster then? Bigger balls. <laughs> no, it's really good. Yeah, we just spoke to Brody, and uh, Paul's giving me a rundown on yeah. on the uh, on the program, mate. Blow my mind, like how good is it? Like, yeah, well, you know, especially with these guys. I didn't have this when I was younger, <laughs> would have shortcut a few years. Just the basic stuff and stuff you don't think about unless the idea is put in your head. Like, oh, what if you try this? What if you try that? Mm. What if we do this with the tyres? Or what do you need from the car? Stuff I was never taught. Yeah. Yeah, and, and really to try and do this sort of thing, even on a test day, but a, a yeah. practice day, you got no hope. Because yeah. you're out there trying to, Just you know, go as fast as you can, as fast as you yeah. can. And, and like I said, with the tuition from you guys that have been there and yeah. done that, uh, you know, that, they'd be loving life. And yeah. I mean, it's great you're putting back in with these sort of programs because it's, you know, like it's going to shortcut things. Yeah. And uh, so what? So what's the test you just done now? Give us a rundown uh, of that. So this one we started purposely with one bad tire on a corner of the car. This one ended up being the left rear. Yep. So we all, thankfully, had the same comments. We were all struggling. Yep. We got a spare tyre, we put that on the left rear which is better, balanced it out. Uh, we tuned our pressures first on the older tyre to mm -hmm. try and balance it, yep. didn't work. And so yeah, we had to get the cold pressure right of the new tyre that was going on, which we nailed, which was good. And then now we're going to put the rear air pressure back up to try and balance it, now we've got a good tyre on. So. so you're throwing a few smokies at them? Yeah, we're trying Unknown. a few things. Yep. So they, now see where they pick it? Yep. But now we just need speed. We've got the best tyres we've got available, so now we're going to try bump up the pressure 
see if we can mm. just feel it or gain a bit of lap time. But. Be because that's all part of it too. It's just not about, yeah. you know, driving the thing. It's about the feedback. So you're yeah. you're the engineer, so it's a yeah. feedback coming back to you yeah. and, and whether their feedback is correct or not. Yeah, and for drivers as engineers, <laughs> we're all, but we're all saying the same thing, which is good. That's the biggest thing. You have that feeling and it's um, wanting the same thing from the car and then you got to understand, all right, how do I get it? So while you're driving in the back of your mind, you have to be thinking about what you're going to change or what you want from the car mm. when you come in. There's another important factor. I notice they've got pads out. They're documenting everything down. Yeah. The amount of times you go to race, you know, sort of, and especially, you something. especially yeah. clubby race me, but they just, they check a tire pressure, but they haven't written it down. Yeah, 100%. So yeah. you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you get to the next meeting, you go, what tire pressure do we run? Oh, I yeah. don't know. Yeah. So is that part of the process of, yeah, of, of logging everything? Yeah, and you saw that this morning, there was two out of the nine guys with pads. You know, now they're all starting to write stuff down and learn or write it in their phone. <laughs> you just got to take notes. I'm the same. I forget stuff straight away. You know. Oh, but you're you're but you like that, don't you? You're pretty yeah, detailed with yeah, your. Yeah, I do. I've heard your debriefs go are pretty spot on. But yeah, that, but, that's an but important say part. If of I it. have, you know, a stupid thing like a window flapping. Oh yeah, we need to get the guys to fix that. You get out of the car and you do your interviews, a press mm. conference, and all that crap, and then you've forgotten about the window. You know, so you need to write it down straight away. I get in the next morning and the window's still flapping. Okay. Ah, shit. So you need to yeah. be methodical with that and make sure the car's a priority. All right. Keep okay, going. This is cool, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool enjoying it so far. Cool nice to watch. Hey, Anton. Hey, How you going? How are you? Jeez, all you guys are ready. Oh, mate, the, the big dog's out for the... <laughs> oh, no. We've got a good group of kids here, so uh, yeah, yeah. Paul, Paul called us up. Happy to help. You know, we've got fast kids. You're happy to help, so... Yeah, absolutely. And, like I said, we've gradually been told about the program and everyone's got you know different sections that they're focusing in on and uh man, i just reckon it's great and i reckon it's great from you guys to actually putting back you know for must be blowing these young kids out some of their idols some of the guys they follow in motorsport especially in supercars yeah. you know and you're out here teaching them all the tricks of the trade yeah man there's not many places in the world you can come out have a play around with the cars, learn things, you know, in a non-stressed environment with guys mm. that are, are doing it at a professional level, and me, Shane, Brody, Paul, Brock, guys that you, you would listen to, and if I was a young kid, <laughs> I would want to listen to, because we've been through it all different ways, you know, we've been to Europe, Brody's been to America, Shane's raced around the world, Paul's got heaps of knowledge, so we've got a good group of guys, but yeah, when Paul said to come help mm. at some kids from Norway, yeah. that are, you know, they, these guys are quick, they mm -hmm. can win races at the level, so we want to take them to the next mm -hmm. level, and that's part of being a part of Norway, that's sort of the help we've had so you're happy mm -hmm. to help out you know so, so focusing in on you know because i'm sure a lot of the young steerers think about just getting behind the wheel and pulling in a lap time but there's a lot more to it in there about you know how the feel of the car how you relay that back to the mechanics the engineers uh, how you document things everything yeah. as well i mean you know the deal i mean when you're at a supercar race yeah it's intense logistics is like yeah we're very lucky we've yeah. got a lot of smart people around us to sort of do all that stuff for us but as from a young age you know when you're paying for your racing mm. You got limited time, you got limited budget, you haven't got time to muck around because you haven't got five, six years to learn all these things. So, you know, I learned a lot with Paul. You gotta get all these things right, you gotta understand everything. And it starts Thursday mm. morning as soon as you get on that plane to get to the track. You know, forget mm. about school or whatever you're doing mm. and worry about the track, tires, you know, all these things are gonna help you because if it helps you, then obviously you go faster, mm -hmm. you win races, and you hopefully make a career out of it. So that's what it's about. Actually, it's a really good point that you just made that you're right, when you're in a big team, you've got a group of people that's helping you tune that car yeah when you're at club level or you're beginning racing yeah it's probably got you small crew. your dad yeah. your mate that sort of thing so so that they, they, they have to multitask so the more you know how to do that as a driver yeah. not just steer the thing and yeah. that's what you're teaching isn't it yeah for sure every like, aspect of the car we're very fortunate you know, we say okay yeah the car needs this car needs that and there's a group of people they can work out sort of the outcome, but a young age, like a young age, a junior category, Super 2, down to 86, XLs, you haven't. So mm -hmm. you have to get in the tire pressure gauge yourself. You've got to do some things and understand a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we all know it and we kind of lead directions. And even now you say, oh, I need a bit of tire pressure, I need a bit of this, I need a bit of that. The driver's the only person feeling what the car's doing as much <laughs> as the computer says uh, anything. Um, so you have to sort of understand what's happening, why, and then just, be thinking the whole time the more you're thinking you know it, it might not help but it, it definitely won't hurt so yeah 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 and that's what it's all about just getting these guys to uh just unlock a little bit in their brain and sort of as, as they're getting better they're freeing up space so they've got time more to think about it and use mm -hmm. that that brain energy towards making the car mm -hmm. faster and making your life easier really well you know yourself too you've got to shortcut things too because 
you know, you've only got a limited time to prove <laughs> prove your speed, prove yeah, your worth, sure. so to speak. And you know that when you're in Europe, you had to keep punching it out. There was there was no one, you know, feeding you. Yeah. Especially when you haven't got the bucks, you've got to make it happen. Yeah, for so, sure. So the more knowledge you've got to make that process faster, it's got to be better. Yeah, and that's what, you know, I, I came to Paul and Paul said, do this, do that, listen to me and go do that and understand this and understand that, da, 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 and you'll be there. Mm. And that all worked out. You know, Brock's in a very similar situation now. Yeah. Um, the quicker you can get on top of things, you know, it makes your life easy, makes your parents' life a hell of a lot easier because they, <laughs> yeah. they can so hopefully retire at a normal age and not, yeah. not work the rest of life's paying off that debt. Not and mortgage the house. Yeah. At the same time, you know, you hopefully make a career and mm. we're all competitive, we all want to win. Yeah. So you want to give yourself that best opportunity to do that. Mm. You've got to understand and, you know, this is the best place to do it. We're all here, we're having fun, having a laugh, but we're learning things and mm -hmm. doing things that you can't do at a racetrack. Yeah. You just yeah. can't yeah. do it. No, no, it's it's such a good program. I, I, I can't tell you how highly I rate it. And, and for you guys giving up your time to do it. So I'm going to hang around for the rest of the day. Yeah, good. Because I might need some tips <laughs> as well, all right? Because apparently there's a big race in October. Yeah, oh, I've heard about that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard there's a good driver going there. Uh, Enforcer, I think his name is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's get the tyres off all the other cars. So the rest of the new tyres we've got, put them on the red car, all right? And then all have a go at that red car, all right? What we're going to do then, we're going to call that qualifying. All right, so we spent the whole day practicing. We've, you've changed the setup, you've changed the tyre pressures, you've changed tyres. If the Dunlop does 75 at a corner, technically speaking, the Yoki should be maybe 77, 70, 78. But if you don't use the, the, the feel the difference of the grip, all you're going to do is drive it to the same as the other tyre. All right. Then, then when we start, we're going to, I've got a um, like old car, that's the, the, the red one. Um, two laps of that each, all right? You jump out of that, you jump in the white one, you do your two laps. You're trying to find, straight away, you're trying to work out how much more grip you've got in the, in the, in the white car. All good? All right, so let's go and set up, everyone help. Um, work as a team, get it all done, and we'll get us closer to getting out there. So dude, just had the debrief. Yeah. All the guys, and uh, you're starting to throw some more curveballs at them, so you're gonna, mix up the tyres a little bit, but also throw a new set at them for a qualifying, a simulated qualifying run. Yeah, so we're running around here on a Dunlop uh, road tyre, basically. It's the same yep. tyre the Toyota 86 racing series runs on, high okay. quality. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a set of um, R-spec groove racing tyres that'll really give them that next, next uh, level of grip. So first time a lot of these kids have probably simulated that bigger grip change, but we've been preparing them for that all day. All mm -hmm. the stuff we've been doing all day has been teaching them about what that tyre is going to do and, and started leading better tyres onto the car throughout okay. the day. Yep. So they should all be well prepared for it. Yeah. So when they put that tyre on, is that the first time they're going to run? First time that? they're going to run. And you, and you know... And it's what, a shootout. It's a shootout. They'll get, we'll give them two laps, a warm-up lap and, a, and a, um, a flyer. Yep. But it's the hardest thing to do in racing is get on the new tyre, you drive out on your out lap, You've got to estimate how much grip you've got, mm -hmm. then you've got to bowl it into that lap for one lap, and uh, it's, it's a hard thing to do. You've got to be confident. You've really got to understand what the tyre's doing. You've really got to be on top of your tyre pressures. But it's something they can start doing now in the junior categories and learn how to qualify well. Mate, that's awesome. I can't wait to have a look. <laughs> oh, you're involved? Oh, I'm involved. I'm doing it. <laughs> that's why I got you down here, mate, because we'll just slot you into this one as well. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure's on. I'm sweating already. <laughs> Fancy seeing you out here. Yeah, hey? I know. It's good you're uh, you're out here. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good to have all these young kids. I think I've nearly done a one-on-one -on -one session with all these guys, so uh, it's yeah. good to see them out here today, learning a bit. Hey, it's good. We've um, been talking to everyone about this program, and it's so cool. And and it's appropriate that we get to you last because you're really the last one that's come out of this program, really, because you've gone through the same sort of thing through the driving school, through Norwell, yeah. all the way through. So a lot of things you've been teaching there, Paul and everyone else has been teaching you all the way through. 
and uh, so far it's working all right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, it was only a bit over three years ago, Paul picked me up and took me out here and taught me how to drive a car. So, mm. um, you know, I've gone through the whole program here and it's it's pretty cool. You know, 18 now, but being able to try and pass a little bit of knowledge that I've got onto these young kids mm. coming up. So, yeah, it definitely works. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what they learn today, they'll mm. take in for the rest of their racing careers. So it's predominantly the same sort of stuff. Like it's about driving technique, what the car does, everything from the simplest things like tyre pressures all the way through. It's pretty important in it and and you're learning it firsthand it's so like i said for some, likes of shane and that sort of thing they've they've already been there and done that yeah second knowledge where, where you're still you're yeah. still climbing the ladder yeah 100 percent. you know i still learn everything every day i come out even if i'm in the passenger seat with a 14 year old kid i'm still learning something but you know these kids have got unbelievable natural talent you know they've come through karting racing at such a high level in a full championship yeah. so these guys are coming into cars and they're not mucking around when they get in it, you know. I think it's just going to keep getting younger and younger as the years go on and, mm. um, you know, you just got to get a little bit of technique into them. Obviously, cars are a little bit different to carts, but they've certainly got a lot of ability and uh, it's, it's cool to be trying to bring them up through Norwell and they're doing such a great job here doing it. Is that something you've learnt throughout all this, and especially because I mean you're still racing the Hyundai, and I race yeah. the Hyundai yeah. with you at Sydney, <laughs> the endurance race, and and as, as far as it doesn't matter what sort of car you're in, whether you're in a, a supercar or a Toyota or 86, the basics are the same, aren't they? As far as achieving a fast lap time. Yeah, hundred percent. You found it up when racing at Sydney. You you don't cruise around in an XL, you know, you've got to drive it as hard as you do in a V8. So, and it's actually very similar techniques in everything we do. So, you know, the normal technique that we teach mm -hmm. here is the same what you do in a supercar, it's the same what you do in an 86 and an XL and pretty much abroad in racing. So, you know, things have modernised a lot over the years and techniques have changed a little bit, but it's great to get into their heads while they're so young. You know, they come here, we try and get them fresh out of karting so they don't pick up any bad habits. Mm. And just to be able to tune them, you know, they keep coming back, they keep getting faster and faster. And, you know, on a day like this, they learn a bit more about the car, you know. As I said, they got so much ability to just get in and go fast. Yeah, yeah, but anything yeah. that they can do to help them understand when they get to a racetrack, help out their dad, you know, they're rocking yeah. up with the XL in the back of the trailer. Anything yeah, yeah. they can do to go faster, um, you know, they're just going to go so much further yeah. in their careers. No, it's pretty cool. I reckon it's a great program, but the big question is, I'm going to be doing this as well. This so. is your program, <laughs> saying, hey? Yeah, I know. Well, can you teach the old dog new tricks? Um, I don't reckon I've got to teach you too many tricks, mate. I reckon you've got it all stored back there. we just got to open some... Open some cabinets oh, and she'll yeah, all be there. You reckon mate. it's trapped? Yeah, yeah so it's the trapped. Top the lock's still on. <laughs> all right. We're getting close, though. So. Let's go unlock it, eh? Huh? Yeah, all right. Hey, thanks, get, We'll get the key, mate. Hey, nice work today. Yeah, it's really thanks, good. mate. Really Cheers. good. <laughs> Robbo. Russell. The whisperer, as they call him around Norwell. Apparently. <laughs> well, you're actually the school teacher today. School teacher today, and we've had a ripping day. Great program. Yeah. Mate, it's been blown away uh, by the input, everyone from, you know, all the celeb uh, instructors. Um, but you're the main man that keeps all this under control. Um, looking at all of them here, man, if they don't walk away from this program without learning something, I'll be very surprised. Yeah, well, they've all done plenty of coaching with us and plenty of laps, and obviously that's why they're here today. Mm. So, um, you know, we want to keep bringing up the young guys and just watch them go up the ranks and get to the point where, you know, could be half a dozen supercar <laughs> drivers here in a few years. So that's the whole point of it. Is it good for you? I mean... You know, you've been here for years, and uh, you you go from every you've seen everyone from you know just normal punters coming off the street to professional drivers and everyone in between. Pretty satisfying for you, though, to actually know that you've had some sort of input in the careers of these people. Yeah, definitely. Like it's good to see when you start coaching someone, you see them move up the grid, move up the grid, and then you see them move up categories and still can win races. And you know, we've got guys we're coaching that are obviously you know in the top of their game at the moment and, and going well. So yeah, it's very satisfying. Good job, Dad. And guys, we liked it? Yeah, that was awesome. How, that? How old are you? 14. You're 14 and you're out of here. Do you, like, have, what have you driven before? I've raced dirt bikes, that's it. Is that it? Dirt and bikes? I started in XLs at 14. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. So you hardly know how to drive a manual, yet you're out here punching out good lap times, learning everything, well, almost everything to know about motorsport. Pretty yeah, it's cool. Good to have the instructors that we have teaching us mm. what we need to know, and it's Heaps of fun out here. Well, I've learned so much, but um, today we've really been focusing on tyres. So like, yep. we um, we started with four pretty average tyres and um, run with them, and then we've been changing tyres throughout the day and seeing the times pick up a bit. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's pretty much mainly been tyres today, but we've learned so much more than that. Dude, like I've learned so much today about feedback in the car mm. and just being like knowing what to tell the mechanic and sort of knowing myself what to uh, how to change the car as well. So yeah, it's been really good out here mm. and. Um, 
it's a good facility here at Norwell, so yeah, it's been, mm. it's been awesome. So, are you all mates here? Yeah. Wrong answer, wrong answer. There is no mates in motorsport. So that's the enforcer test and you all failed it, all right? But you can like each other, but you're not mates, all right, on the racetrack, yeah. fair enough. Yeah. But as yeah. soon as you go out, out that gate at a racetrack, you can be mates again, all right? So that's my tip, take it or leave it. Well done, guys. It's been very impressive watching you. So uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Thanks. Oh, dude, how cool was that? So, so impressed with number one, the process and the things that those kids were getting taught and the kids themselves, like, you know, how serious they took it and they realised this is a pretty unique opportunity. Yeah, and, and look, they are good kids and they, they operate at a very high level. And to me, it's super rewarding, super mm. rewarding to do that. And I think the sport's in pretty good hands, isn't it, when we see that level of talent coming through? It's not, it's not bad, but you're shortcutting a lot of things. And, and when I was, you know, talking to Shane and... Yeah and Anton and Brody and Brock, you know, they, they all said the same thing, you know, this is, this is stuff that's really going to take them to the next level, but take them there faster. Just trying to learn this on their own could take years. It does, and you learn by mistakes or by people passing on knowledge, and the thing, big thing about motorsport is it costs a lot of money, so the quicker you can move through those junior categories and get to your end goal, um, the more chance you've got of making it, not running out of dough. So <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because sometimes, you know, you, you don't get that big a shot at it. Like you, the, you, the window's small. <laughs> it, it's small, and you want to see that you want to see the good drivers getting through, not, not necessarily the ones with the biggest wallets. Mm. Oh, well, I've, I'm, I've learned something today. <laughs> yep. You know, I'm back in there. All of a sudden, things have started coming out of my head. I haven't thought about it for a while. I'm going, OK, all right. And, yeah, I, I, I've really enjoyed it. So I uh, appreciate it, dude. That was, that was a real eye-opener, and uh, I'll be doing a bit more around here on my, uh, my trek back. Rusty's Road, Rusty's Road, Road to, to Bathurst. Bathurst. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Rusty Road back to Bathurst or something like that anyway. We'll fine-tune that, but no, it's been really good. So I hope you have enjoyed it. And uh, we've, we've enjoyed bringing it to you as well. And just so good seeing those young kids out there. And even better, it's just it's great to see star drivers giving back you know, giving yeah, back big to tick the there, right? Oh, like, massive, mate. <laughs> Just like they good. don't need to tell people that because they're still racing, but nah. there's a fair chance one of those kids will be on the grid in a couple of years and they'll yeah. be going, oh, I don't think I should have told them all that. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's true. They could be sitting here saying, oh, God. Yeah, but it's good. They're not getting paid. They're not paid. No, they, can't, they do it out of their own time. So yeah, bloody good on them. It's good stuff. Yeah, for those, you know, high-profile celeb drivers to come in and do it. It's been really good. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget, subscribe to Force When They Do YouTube. Uh, and force them to do Facebook as well. Um, we'll be back with a full show pretty directly, but um, mate, if we just thought this would be a really interesting story. And again, this is stuff that people don't normally see. So, uh, and if you're interested and you're a racer and uh, you'd like to be pretty interested in this sort of thing, I think you're going to yeah. be having a few more of these. Yeah, no, we're, we're developing this curriculum all the time and uh, always learning and learning new things. So, it's, you know, this is not mm. just for the, for the young kids as well. There's, there's plenty of people my age that have come into racing late in life that are, are learning out of this stuff as well. So. Awesome stuff. Good on you, right? Thank you, guys. <laughs>